Hey YouTubers, this is Lonnie Clark again, Nuts for Art, and I'm going to read more of our book, Poison Power, by Dr. John Goffman and Dr. Arthur Tamplin, and I probably won't read for long because, as you know, I'm on vacation here in New Orleans, and we've just been talking late into the day, into the hours, and very little sleep, a whole lot of visiting, and I'm pretty tired, so I am going to keep reading. <laughs> But I just wanted to let you know it probably won't be for too long. When I get back to Oregon, um, I'll try to pick up the pace a bit and read for a little bit longer. So we are on page 235 in chapter 10 of our book. And the title of the chapter is called, What Can Citizens Do About Nuclear Electricity? We're on the uh, third paragraph of the, of the page. We have shown that the approach, philosophy, and methodology used in developing the radiation standards that govern the nuclear electricity program were erroneous. I think that re bears repeating. We have shown that the approach, philosophy, and methodology in developing the radiation standards that govern our nuclear electricity program were erroneous. The electric utility industry has been misled concerning the radiation hazards associated with nuclear electricity. The leading phys physicists, engineers, have been misled. Even the chairman of the Joint Congressional Committee on Atomic Energy thinks we can safely be exposed to the amount of radiation it would take to produce a major public health disaster for this generation and all future generations. I'm going to read that again. The leading physicists, engineers have been misled. Even the chairman of the Joint Congressional Committee on Atomic Energy thinks we can safely be exposed to the amount of radiation it would take to produce a major health public disaster for, the, for this generation and all future generations. All this has been possible and the new all this has been possible and the nuclear electricity develop, generation has developed as a major industry through studiously maintained public ignorance of potential risks. So let's read that again. These are vital points that we need to remember. All this has been possible and nuclear electricity generation has been developed as a major industry through studiously maintained public ignorance of potential risks, meaning that the nuclear industry is intentionally deceiving us. The only hope in this and other desperately serious environmental problems is to provide all the information to the public, all sectors of it. A growing segment of the public now realizes the hazards associated with nuclear electricity plants plan for above ground construction on the very boundaries of major metropolitan centers. The full effects of catastrophic accidents that could occur remain unknown. Yet these gigantic, totally experimental plants, plants are being constructed. Yet these gigantic, totally experimental plants are being constructed. You get that? They're all an experiment, guys. No responsible body of scientists and no individual scientist is now willing to minimize the potential radiation hazard to this and future generations. Indeed, when he was Secretary of Health, Education, and Welfare, Robert Finch called for a total review of all sta radiation standards to reassess all the new evidence concerning hazards of ionizing radiation. These, those formulating the review are so concerned that they indicate it will take two years to study the evidence and to arrive at final conclusions as to just how serious these hazards are. Meanwhile, Two Nobel laureates, Professor Linus Pauling and Professor Joshua Letterberg, have come forward with their estimates, both even more severe than ours. A third Nobel laureate, Professor James D. Watson, expressed himself opposed to nuclear power plants, 
plant construction simply because the gaps in our knowledge of radiation in, excuse me <sighs> a third Nobel laureate has expressed himself uh, himself opposed to nuclear power plant construction simply because the gaps in our knowledge of radiation injury to humans are so large that he believes this alone justifies the abandoning of construction of such power plants. There seems to be little doubt that the public must act directly to stop further proliferation of this most dangerous, rashly promoted nuclear electricity industry. The most constructive action seems to be a national moratorium on any further construction of nuclear electricity plants. In such a moratorium period, all crucial questions can be thoroughly aired and a rational future assessment planned. Doing, so guess what? That All that was thrown out the window. It will be essential to press for action within individual states. In the 28 states for whom a nuclear electricity future has already been planned by those who never needed, who never consulted the public, citizens groups are now thoroughly alerted and are seeking a moratorium action in their own state. In several states, the initiative is available and is the procedure of choice. Initiative is the procedure by which a specified number of voters may propose a statute, constitutional amendment, or ordinance and compel a popular vote of its adoption. This is the highest form of effective participation in the democratic process. An initiative can be put on the ballot in such states to call for a five-year or ten-year moratorium on nuclear power plant construction. Once passed, such a moratorium invalidates all temporary atomic energy interest might devise to have their way. Oh, that's a bad sentence. Certainly where the initiative is available, it is the best course of action towards the moratorium. Oh my gosh, I'm so tired. I need to stop. I know it's only eight minutes, but wow, I need to stop, you guys. We are on page 238, the very first paragraph that begins, the public must be prepared. So this is kind of a shock. These people have known, just like somebody on the Facebook page said, Governor Jay Nixon is not going to declare a state of emergency in St. Louis because he knows that then they have to admit that there's radiation in St. Louis. And we don't have to admit it. We see the children dying in St. Louis. They don't have the authority to just kill thousands of children in St. Louis because Republic Services does not want to pay the price for their crimes against humanity. So I encourage everybody to put your courage feet on and please register to vote. For all of you who think it doesn't matter, we have less than 18% of the people voting, which is why it doesn't matter. Let's get to 75% of the vote and see what happens in this country and tell me then that it doesn't matter. So put your courage feet on, you guys, and can you tell? It's annoying. Ciao, you guys.